The Kenyan government announced on Monday that Kenya will launch its first functioning satellite, marking a significant accomplishment for the nation's space program. On April 10, the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carrying Typhoon 1, also known as One Nation in Swahili, is expected to lift off from the Californian Vandenberg Space Force Base. The mission is an important milestone. The Kenya Space Agency and the Defense Ministry announced in a joint statement that it would considerably help the nation's budding space economy. According to the announcement, the observation satellite was fully designed and developed by Kenyan engineers and will be used to offer information on food security and agriculture, among other things. The components were manufactured and tested in partnership with Enderostat AD, a Bulgarian aerospace company. Officials cited cost as the reason for not building them locally. Hello, this is Rain Smith, and you're watching the new Africa channel. Kenya, the economic center of East Africa, is currently grappling with the worst drought in decades due to five consecutive seasons of inadequate rainfall. In line with the efforts of African nations to promote scientific research and space program development, the upcoming satellite launch will provide crucial support. Egypt achieved a historic milestone in 1998 by launching the first satellite in Africa, while Kenya's initial experimental nanosatellite was launched from the International Space Station in 2018. As per Space in Africa, a Nigerian company specializing in tracking African space programs, as of 2022, at least 13 African nations have manufactured a total of 48 satellites. Some of these nations include Ethiopia, Angola, South Africa, Sudan, among others. Additionally, Space in Africa reports that over 50 African satellites have been launched as of November 2022. However, none of them were launched from African soil. In January, the government of Djibouti announced that it had entered into a memorandum of understanding with a business based in Hong Kong for the construction of a commercial spaceport worth $1 billion, which is expected to be completed in five years. Kenya's Defense Ministry has stated that the objective of the mission is to provide stakeholders in various sectors, including agriculture and food security, with precise and prompt satellite-based Earth observation data. This newly acquired information, in conjunction with other data sources, will facilitate decision-making processes in domains such as environmental surveillance, natural resource management, and agriculture and food security. The mission's secondary goal is to develop Kenya's technical capacity on the whole value chain of space technology development and applications. According to Brigadier Hilary Kipkosfi, the acting director of KSA, providing specific information about the mission, it has a crucial function in placing Kenya on the international stage as it plays a significant role in promoting the development of satellites, data analysis and processing, and application development. Space is the next frontier in many ways, and we are happy to be part of this. This is our moment of pride, he added. According to him, space research, Technologies and applications play a significant role in driving the economic productivity of the country. He further stated their intention to enhance their expertise in ground station services and operations, engineering of space systems, as well as data processing and analytics. KSI reported that the launch mission was the outcome of a two-year-long design and development process, as stated by the STAR. In Kenya's perspective, the launch of TAFA-1 satellite marks the first step towards building a constellation of small Earth observation satellites. So, what do you think of our video? Let us know what you think in the comments below and as always, do subscribe to the new Africa channel for more exciting future videos. And we all know that space finds application in virtually all aspects of human endeavor. If you are talking transportation, if you are talking TV and broadcasting, if you are talking broadband communications, navigation and positioning, weather forecasting,